Hello fellow warriors against consensus reality. Oh, I love the time of the year when the mornings get a bit darker. No noisy gobshite birds. Human noise is non-existent at the moment. My favourite time of the day. Or late evening. But uh, with the commencement of a of an undoubtedly glorious three days off, I thought I'd um, put out a video, kick things off, so to speak. And um, it was something that's been on my mind now and then, and uh, something which has been discussed with various people. It's um, uh, what I call the shadow life. Um, now, what do I mean by that? Um, as a person experiences various traumas through their life, various, um, perhaps, mental, emotional, verbal abuse and so on, um, in some people's cases, sexual abuse, which is, I can imagine, horrifying beyond belief. Um, but uh, usually it begins in the impressionable, um, very early childhood years and um it's um something which in later years is very challenging to release and remove because it's been so ingrained from that early age um you may have had a a parent a sibling um a family member um constantly putting you down, constantly berating you for this, that, or the other, any imagined slight or um, wrongdoing in their eyes. Um, usually to the effect of saying you're worthless, you're stupid, blah, 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 blah. Um, or you may have entered the world with um, the knowledge that one parent wanted to have an abortion and um, made steps in that direction but um, you decided to be born anyway <laughs> um, or you may have experienced um, intense racism in school which really made you um, thankful years later in hindsight realizing that this actually enabled you to um, become the indiv the sarcastic individualist you have become instead of trying to fit in with those boring passionless lifeless pink-skinned gobshites Who wouldn't know good food or cuisine if it fucking hit them in the head? And the same food that they used to tease us about in the old days, they call gourmet now. <laughs> uh, you use olive oil now, do you? Right. <laughs> uh, but I digress. Um, and so it, I mean, it could even be a, a partner, husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. Um fiance in some of our cases um who again with their issues and their insecurities and their um fuckery they try to project that onto you because instead of elevating themselves they they deem it necessary to keep you as low as possible because they're lazy gobshites who couldn't be bothered doing the real work yes it's work it's it's um, really challenging facing one's own inner demons and conquering them and being better than you were yesterday and realizing that this whole belief, th the result of all this, of course, is, um, before I go on, is um, self-hatred, uh, insecurity. Um, you might have this deep, extremely deep-seated um, subconscious belief that... Uh, you don't really deserve any any better than what you 
have allowed yourself. And so what usually happens, um, a person gets into a certain mindset and creates a reality for themselves, which I call the shadow life. They do just enough in life to get by and little else. There's no, usually the, the, the signs within yourself is um, no real ambition, no real drive to achieve things as far as, you know, one's gifts, talents, what have you, um, perhaps in a professional sense. Look at me being a life coach, oh dear. But uh, I promise I won't be a cunt. Or a cuck about it. Um, and so one may go through one's whole life um, with these beliefs, not realizing that they're actually not your own. They're actually the result of other people's projections and other people's bullshit that they've projected and placed onto your shoulders from a very young age, which you shouldn't have had to carry. And so you do and will, if you haven't already, reach an intense, powerful light bulb moment where you realize, hang on, wait a minute. What the fuck is going on? This isn't me. In your heart of hearts, some small flicker of your, your um, authentic self, your inner power that you connect with without even realizing it occasionally, you realize that this these beliefs this isn't what you actually are and so then comes the wonderful process of deep inner change which of course means facing all those inner demons and that inner critic that we fucking love so much by the way this whole process of mental emotional whatever whatever abuse um really makes your inner critic insufferably more powerful than it ought to be. So there's an imbalance there. Um, so you may go through life doing just about enough to just get by for the bare essentials and a little else. Um, you may be an, a procrastinator. That's usually another sign as well. Um, you can make you are you become expert at making up excuses for. Um, not doing things, not really achieving things. Um, you become an absolute master in putting things off. And as crazy as that may seem, um, you allow for yourself a half-life. As I said, what I call a shadow life. A, a life where you have only a fraction of what you really deserve. And um, that you may spend years being seemingly okay with that, but you reach a stage where, as I said, there is that unconscious, subconscious, deep-seated part of yourself which says, you know what, I deserve a lot fucking better than this. And this is what brings on the light bulb moments. And if you listen to your own inner guidance... Um, you can actually remove the self-imposed shackles and um, be free and become the full expression of who, who you are meant to be. And it's a really profound and powerful process, especially when you've had perhaps an older sibling um, adding to the mix by putting you down all, all, all your life. And uh, so as a result, you've had no natural development of self-esteem or self-confidence. Um, you may even not know what these things are or feel like because you've never had them. And that's okay. It's to be un it's understandable. Um, just it, it helps to begin with the realization that you did the best you could with what you knew at the time. And coupled with these beliefs are not your own. They're projections from other fucked up individuals. And that actually is quite a profound process of change, real change, 
where you realize, you know what? Fuck this. I've always wanted to do this or that. And so you start to put energy into the intent and you start to create that reality for yourself. For example, in my case, um, I want to pay squillions for um, for writing and playing my guitar. <laughs> and uh, living in rural Ireland, away from all the gobshites, away from all um, the toilet paper hoarding idiots in this country. <laughs> uh, fighting in a supermarket over toilet paper, as if somehow magically industry has ceased and it's... Um, post-apocalyptic wasteland where crime lords have arisen out of the mass of desperation becoming the lords of toilet paper where they charge a lot of money for one roll <laughs> oh dear oh dear <laughs> so when this pr process does happen and um, when you do experience a light bulb moments, and you will, let it happen. Um, because you'll be, that's when the fun begins. And that's when the process of real living begins. And you, you look back with perhaps a whimsical, um, with a whimsical pat on your past life's head. And uh, I realize that there, we, there, there, that's fine. Um, this is how we're going to do things now. And uh, it's quite an amazing process. Yes, you will have a lot of crap from the past rise to the surface to be released. Yes, you will feel it all again. You will go through it all again. Um, just realize that it's not what you're feeling now. This is just something that needs to be experienced, acknowledged and released. And... That's a wonderful thing. But um, I suppose I'd like to add at this point an addendum to the um, Toxic adven Adventures um, narrative. Um, it's kind of... People are amusing creatures, especially in the drama sphere on YouTube. <laughs> um, when you have people butt hurt because I had fun chatting in a certain person's live stream where um, everything is gravy. Yes, that's the hint. And um, so they get butt hurt by me being there. And it's kind of funny because right now I've had a news item pop up about um, titled New Toilet Paper Limit. <laughs> So this is a prohibition, people. We're living in, in toilet paper prohibition times. <laughs> uh, you still want to call Australia the lucky country? The land of endless toilet paper. <laughs> fucking hell, how I lasted in this country for so long, I have no fucking idea. Uh, but, um, and so you have certain people butthurt because I enjoyed chatting on a certain person's live stream. Well, see, I wouldn't really need to be there if a certain fake life coach didn't act like a total gobshite and ban me in the first place for speaking the truth. Let that sink in for a moment. Some of us are not um, enslaved to mindless toxic, evil, manipulative gobshites in the backgrounds. Some of us actually have a mind of our own, and after being a monk for 12 months, for 12 years, some of us actually use the big head first. And um, then you have certain people from that side thinking that now I'm going to be connected with Jabba man boobs because I've had issues with uh, the fake life coach. Um, no. Um, I have no time for that dopey man boobed gobshite considering he was the one that doxed me. So you can sort of put aside that, um, ooh, wouldn't it be funny if you were, um, 
modded by him and that would really trigger fake life coach um i'd rather sell all my guitars than have anything to do with that dopey gobshite clear enough as i've said many times to quote treebeard again um i'm on no nobody's side because nobody is on my side as I, and as I've said before, I play guitar to the beat of my own drum. And the only group of people on YouTube who are actually worthy of my um, allegiance are the Fandom Menace, because they are a group of fucking fantastic people, worth every cent of my donations that I give them, and my um, Patreon pledge money. So, don't take everything so serious on, on YouTube, once again. Um... It can be a, an interesting place. There's a lot of good information and channels there, but there are a lot of uh, mindless gobshites who have no real life, and instead of doing the, the the real inner work to make their real lives better, they somehow create a false sense of fulfillment by creating and stirring up drama on YouTube. Life's too short. You could be dead tomorrow. Um, live your real life today and leave all that fuckery behind. Oh, and um, in case there are any kind of misunderstandings, um, living in this country and being sort of single for uh, 12 years, I look around me and people ask me, oh, why are you a monk if, you know, there was a past, blah, 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 blah. Um, because I live in this country, I look around me and I think, um, no, thank you. I deserve a lot better than these modern, brain-dead, clueless, passionless brainwashed um, feminist gobshites that I see around me. Thank you. Um, so think for yourselves. Don't be afraid of the process of change, of inner change. Don't listen to what anyone says. And be well. The Lone Wolf on Guitar, out.